Experiments A25, Investigation on Cooling Tower Performance Approach to Wet Bulb. The aims of these experiments are to measure the temperature changes of air and water entering and leaving the cooling tower and to assess the effect of heat rejection load and airflow rate on the web bulb approach. In a cooling tower of infinite size and with an adequate airflow rate, the water leaving will be at web bulb temperature of the incoming air. For this reason, the difference between temperature of the water leaving a cooling tower and the web bulb temperature of the air entering the tower is an indication of the effectiveness of the cooling tower. In this experiment, the effect of heat rejection load and airflow rate on the web bulb approach is investigated. Here are some cooling tower terms worth mentioning. Cooling range is the difference between the water temperature at entry to and uh, exit from the tower. Heat rejection load is the rate at which heat is removed from the water, expressed in kW. Approach to web bulb is the difference between the temperature of water leaving the tower and the web bulb temperature of the air entering the tower. Packing or fuel is the material over which the water flows as it falls through the tower so that a large surface area is presented to the airstream. Makeup water The quantity of fresh water which must be supplied to the cooling tower circuit. To make good the losses due to evaporation, drift, and drain down. In order to calculate the dry air mass flow rates, we need to use the diagram to find out the specific volume and the moisture content. For example, if we know the dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature, we can use the red line to find out the moisture content and the green line to find out the specific volume. For the first stage, familiarize yourself with the installation of the cooling tower rig. Making reference to the scheme diagram, identify the various components of the cooling tower and approach their function. Then identify and list the ACs and the sensors in the rig. For the measurement of air temperature, humidity, airflow rate, pressure drop, water temperature, and flow rate. Then find out how the heat rejection load is simulated in this cooling tower rig. Here is the picture showing the whole test rig. In stage 2, using packet column B, set the cooling tower to operate and allow to stabilize under the following conditions. After stabilizing the test rig, record the air temperature, humidity, and water temperature at inlet and outlet of the tower in the result sheet. The last step in stage 2 is to keep the water and airflow rates constant and increase the electrical heater input to 0.5 kW, 1 kW, and 1.5 kW in steps and repeat 2.1 and 2.2 after each step of increased load. Here is the table of results in 4 steps. For stage 3, we need to change the airflow rate to about one half. According to the formula, we need to adjust the differential to one quarter of before. By adjusting the fan intake damper and keep the water flow rate same as before. Then repeat step 2.1 to 2.3 on the least reduced airflow rate. You can pay attention to the change of the damper. And the list table shows the results in stage 3.